Hello, my beautiful friends, and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. Today, we are doing the comfort food version of the quarantine recipes. If you haven't seen my two other quarantine friendly recipes videos, I'll link those down below. Today's video, I have three different recipes and all are using mostly freezer and pantry ingredients that you probably already have in your kitchen. And if there's any time that we need comfort food, guys, it is right now, okay? So I know you guys want the comfort food and I really think you guys will enjoy these. So make sure you give them all a try. And of course, let me know what you thought of them. Before getting onto the recipes, I've got a fantastic sponsor today, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community offering thousands of inspiring classes classes to help you explore new skills, develop existing interests, and become more creative. The course I took today is called The Perfect 100 Day Project, Your Guide to Explosive Creative Growth. And this course actually inspired me to start my own 100 day project starting today. And my project is going to be 100 days of practicing piano every day in order to learn a new song. That's going to be my project. So if you're bored and in need of inspiration, or if you just want to work on your self-development, Skillshare is the perfect place to do so. Today, Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first thousand people who click the link in the description box down below. After that, premium membership is only $10 a month to continue learning. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Now let's make some food. First recipe we're gonna make are these delicious fluffy chocolate chip pancakes. So we're gonna get started by adding one cup of non-dairy milk into a bowl. And into that same bowl, we're gonna add in one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. This is gonna allow us to create a buttermilk. Yes, so this is gonna become all nasty, okay? <laughs> but it's gonna be delicious once we're done the pancakes. So in a mixing bowl, we're going to add in one cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, two teaspoons of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, and we're just gonna mix that well together. And into that buttermilk mixture, we're gonna add in one teaspoon of vanilla, mix that well, and then we're gonna throw in the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients. And of course, mix that well, getting rid of all the clumps. And now once that's mixed well, we're gonna add in our chocolate chips. Just make sure you are finding vegan friendly chocolate chips. They should be easy to find, just check the ingredients list. We're gonna mix that very well. And then there's your batter. And then of course we can heat up a pan on medium high heat. And I like to use some vegan butter to make the pancakes. You can also use coconut oil, you can use regular oil, whatever you'd like. So we're just gonna scoop out the pancake batter and make the pancakes. You guys know how it is. I cook them for about, I would say three to four minutes on each side on medium heat and then flip them over. And of course you can enjoy these with whatever toppings you'd like. I actually had some frozen raspberries and I decided to just heat it up in the microwave and it kind of turned into this bit of a puree situation. So I decided to use that as uh, one of the toppings. And I also realized to my absolute disappointment, we did not have any more maple syrup. Yes, I know. It was a Canadian tragedy. So instead, I used some agave nectar, which is still good, but definitely is not the same thing. So a bit of a sad situation, but we got to make do with what we have at the moment. So yes, these are the finished pancakes. My roommate and I enjoyed them together. And of course, if you don't have chocolate chips, you can leave them out. You can also add in blueberries or other berries, whatever you would like. So feel free to kind of do whatever pleases you, okay? All right, guys, so this next recipe slash hack is going to amaze you because it is delicious and it's so simple. Now we are using veggie meatballs and yes, I'm using a store-bought frozen veggie meatball. I'm using the Eve's brand and I'm gonna throw this entire frozen bag into a wok or a pot or a pan. And then the next ingredient, we are going to use some chili sauce. Guys, this is a three ingredient recipe, my friends. So this is not the same thing as Korean chili sauce people. This is a uh, Western chili sauce. We're also gonna use some grape jelly, I know. Those are the three ingredients, my friends. Those are the three ingredients. And you are thinking, Rose, 
Have you have you lost it? Has the quarantine just just messed with your head? Well, guess what, guys? This is not something I made up. This seems to be a very popular hack. And I only found out about this recently, so I wanted to share this knowledge with all of you. So we're gonna mix this as best as we can. It doesn't have to be perfect because as it heats up, it's going to melt and come together on its own. So I just have the heat on about medium heat. I'm gonna cover it up for a bit and then just mix it every once in a while just to make sure everything is kind of coming together. I heard that you can do this in a slow cooker as well, but I don't have a slow cooker. So maybe you wanna try that. And I basically cook this on medium heat for about 20 minutes covered up and of course mixing it every once in a while. And that's pretty much it. Now guys, I know some of you might not have frozen veggie meatballs available to you. And don't worry, I got you because I already have a delicious vegan meatball recipe on my YouTube channel using very pantry friendly ingredients. So I'm going to link that down below. If you haven't tried it, you must try it. Uh, it is delicious. It's healthy. It's probably much healthier than buying uh, frozen veggie meatballs. But if you're lazy like me, you could do this in a three ingredient step. Now guys, this is a great way to pretend you're a great cook because when you taste the sauce, you are not going to believe that it was grape jelly and chili sauce, okay? Now, as you can see, I'm garnishing everything with a little bit of toasted sesame seeds and some green onions, chopped green onions. You don't have to do this, but uh, it's really great for presentation purposes. And also, I mean, you guys know I love green onions. I love uh, sesame seeds. You know my obsession. Uh, you can eat these on their own. Uh, you can also eat them with rice. I actually did that as well. You can eat them on the side of any dish. It's so good, guys. Highly recommend trying this out all right we are at the final recipe my friends and we are making none other than ketchup spaghetti if you guys have been on my channel for some time you have seen my uh, video where I did explore this before I'm making it slightly differently today so first we're gonna cook up our pasta and while our pasta is cooking, we can chop up half an onion. Now, if you don't have onion, you can skip this. You can really just alter this recipe the way that you want. It's really not complicated, my friends. But if you have onion, then feel free to use it. Onion is something that lasts a very long time. So I feel like most people, a lot of people would have onion at the moment, but who knows, okay? So I dice the onion and then we're gonna go to the pan. And guess what we're using, guys? Once again, I'm being very predictable. We're using vegan butter. Once again, guys, if you don't have vegan butter, use oil or well, coconut oil might be weird in this one. So maybe just an unflavored uh, vegetable oil. That would be nice, okay? So we're gonna throw in the, uh, the onion. We're also gonna throw in some garlic. I already have minced garlic, so I'm just throwing in some minced garlic, about, uh, I would say two cloves worth and then let's uh, let's cook that up a little bit, guys. When the pasta is almost done cooking, I like to always save a little bit of the pasta water so that I can use it later if I need. So I'm just saving some of that and then of course draining the pasta. Now after cooking up the onion and garlic for a couple of minutes, we can add in our protein source. Now I'm using Veggie Ground. This is the Eve's brand, once again, of Veggie Ground. And I believe this is the original. And of course you can use whatever protein of choice. You can use TVP if you would like, which is textured vegetable protein. Although if you do use that, you might need to add a little bit more seasoning or maybe a bit more ketchup, all that kind of good stuff. You can also use a vegan hot dog. You could also use uh, some chopped up smoked tofu, whatever floats your boat, whatever you have. And then we can add in our magical ingredient, which is ketchup. Yes, guys. This is ketchup spaghetti. Mm -hmm. And I know you guys, maybe I'm horrifying you right now in this video with uh, all of the uh, kind of unique ingredients I'm using, but I'm telling you this is great, especially for this time because you might not have pasta sauce. And at this point, I'm gonna add a little splash of the pasta water that we saved. And that's just gonna help kind of make the sauce come together a little bit. And um, it's gonna make the sauce a bit more saucier, okay? And then we just throw in the pasta. So you can adjust things, guys, guys. What do I always say? Make it your own, adjust things accordingly. So I was mixing this up and I realized, okay, we need a little bit more ketchup. Added some more ketchup, 
okay? You can, of course, add in other spices, other seasonings, other ingredients if you like, but ketchup does the job. <laughs> ketchup does the job. I'm telling you guys, I know. It's horrifying. It looks horrifying. You're like, what is this? Italians, please forgive me. Please forgive me. Love you guys. Mi dispiace, all that good stuff, okay? But I'm telling you, this is great because now, you know, if you don't have pasta sauce in your house, okay, what you gonna do? Most people have ketchup. Desperate times. And I'm telling you, this actually tastes good, okay? It tastes good. Anyways, we're just kind of mixing things together. I like to add splashes of uh, the pasta water to kind of make it come together. I'm adding more ketchup as I'm going. And at the very end here, I'm also gonna add in a little bit more of that vegan butter. Now this part is totally optional, but you guys know I like things spicy. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha in there as well, cause we're gonna make this a spicy ketchup spaghetti. I know, genius. And my friends, this is how you make ketchup spaghetti, vegan style, and also how you annoy an Italian. <laughs> My Italian friends, I love you all, okay? Love you, uh, love your country, let me back in. Please let me back in. Um, I'll try not to annoy you again uh, for the time being. But um, for the rest of you guys, I hope you try this out. Uh, I hope that this was helpful to you. Here, as you can see, I'm adding in some uh, cashew parmesan, which I put on top of everything. It's very easy to make. I'll link that recipe video down below as well. And there you have it, guys. Super simple ketchup spaghetti. And my beautiful friends, that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it brought you a little bit of comfort. And if you guys want more quarantine friendly recipes, I will link my other two videos down below. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And once again, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget guys, the first thousand people to click the link below will get access to two months of Skillshare for free. So thank you so much for watching everybody and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.